लोक विद्याधर विशेष अवस्था समय विशेष इलेक्ट्रोन प्रोटोन न्यूट्रोन उपरमाणु सिद्ध मैं एल एक्सी तान लेके अतुले दी मैं उपपरमाणु को अंचु इतामत यह लो तरने कट लाग कर ला आलो के वेगे का आसान वेगे कट आवट पास से मैं वा इकने का घटने हुए कट लाग करना है तो कट मैं घटने यदि निकुत्ते न तबत शक्ति न चलें तमाय मैं अलग तो उपपरमाणु पांचु में बोसोन वागे मैं तक � इतनी मैं गाटने कर लाख किरी में सिद्ध कराने मैं अभी किया ना एलएचसी थाना लेके आतुले इतनी एक बालान्द अभी मीटर एक्सी हेत्ते पाक पलो यार रहन नॉन एक कमा मैं एलएचसी थाना लेकर लोके विचारलत में अंतरे विधि रसाल करना एक अन्य मैं थाना लेके एक नत्ता में उम्मीद CERN is the world's largest particle physics research laboratory. It covers six square kilometers scattered over 12 sites either side of the Franco-Swiss border near Geneva. In 34 kilometers of tunnels and caverns the size of cathedrals, at over 100 meters underground, CERN hosts facilities for experimental physics. Scientists from all over the world work here in international collaborations to study and understand the mysteries of the universe. Stars, planets, seas, air, humans, everything around us is made of matter. Matter is made of atoms. Atoms are made of electrons orbiting around a nucleus, which in turn is made of protons and neutrons. Inside these, we find quarks. In CERN's newest accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider, particles collide at nearly the speed of light to study the quarks and other particles. Many of these particles only existed in the early universe for a fraction of a second after the Big Bang, when all the energy transformed into matter. In CERN's accelerators, we can recreate conditions that existed just after the Big Bang and shed light on such questions as why do particles have mass? What is the nature of dark matter in the universe? Why did matter triumph over antimatter in the first moments of the universe, making our existence possible? What was the state of matter just after the Big Bang? Four gigantic instruments called particle detectors will study the data from the LHC collisions in search of the answers to these fundamental questions. 
The experimental and theoretical study of these conditions allows us to understand the fundamental laws of nature and to unveil the ultimate mysteries that govern our universe. In the course of their research, CERN scientists have often come across discoveries that have affected our everyday life. The technology used for particle detectors is at the origin of security scanning equipment and several medical applications. And the World Wide Web was invented at CERN in 1990 by the British scientist Tim Berners-Lee. The web soon grew beyond the world of particle physics and has become our primary repository of information, changing and improving the way people interact and communicate. To treat these massive amounts of data produced by the Large Hadron Collider, Physicists, together with experts from industry, are building a web of cooperative computing called the GRID. The GRID will allow thousands of research centers and universities to share their data storage resources and computing power, transforming the Internet into a giant global supercomputer and building capacity for the science of tomorrow. Good luck, we have a second of a separation of our rack. Well, I'm going to make a picture of Gamuru. Good luck, you have to So, we are going down all the way 175 meters. Meters, meter accuracy at the park. We make the Pahala to come and tell you to make a tunnel. Balamo, I'm going to Everything that we can see and touch is made of matter. But what is matter? Where does it come from? Was it always like it is today? The Alice experiment at CERN will shed new light on these questions that mankind has been wondering about for thousands of years. The existence of atoms was discovered by studying matter at very small scales. The shell of atoms is made of electrons. Inside the atom, there is a very small nucleus, consisting of protons and neutrons. Inside protons and neutrons are even smaller components, called quarks. An extremely strong force, transmitted by so-called gluons, holds the quarks together. The force between the quarks is so strong that it has never been possible to separate the quarks from each other. In ordinary matter, quarks can only exist in this prisoner state inside protons and neutrons. But where does all the matter come from? The history of the universe starts with the Big Bang, about 13.8 billion years ago. It produces all particles in the universe in less than a millionth of a second. For instance, these particles form a hot and dense soup called the quark gluon plasma where quarks can run freely. Scientists are keen to study the properties of this primordial state of matter, since it's crucial for our understanding of the birth of matter in the universe. At CERN, lead nuclei are traveling through a network of accelerators 
where they go faster and faster until they reach almost the speed of light inside the LHC. By colliding the nuclei, scientists recreate conditions that existed in the first instance of the universe. Inside a tiny heart, thousands of newly created particles form a droplet of primordial matter, the quark gluon plasma. But the fireball is extremely short-lived. As it rapidly expands and cools down, three quarks start to grow. Protons, neutrons, and other particles emerge from the collision. The study of the production of these particles reveals the properties of the quark gluon plasma. It is 30 times denser than an atomic nucleus, and even very energetic quarks are quickly absorbed. But for photons, which are insensitive to the strong interaction, the plasma is transparent. The plasma temperature is 200,000 times higher than in the core of the sun, and it behaves like a perfect liquid without any internal friction. The study of the lead ion collisions needs an enormous three-dimensional digital camera that surrounds the collision point. This is the ALICE detector. It records the direction and energy of particles emerging from a collision. By analyzing millions of collisions and comparing them with theoretical models, we can learn more about the properties of this primordial state of matter. The ALICE detector is installed in a cavern 56 meters below ground. It is 16 meters high, 16 meters wide, and 26 meters long. Its weight is 10,000 tons, more than the Eiffel Tower. The Alice detector consists of several components for measuring charged and neutral particles. A huge magnet produces a field of 0.5 tesla, forcing charged particles on a curved path. They leave signals in some of the millions of sensors in the tracking devices. Computers identify tracks by connecting these signals and determine the energy and time of each charged particle. The energy of electrons and photons is measured in so-called calorimeters, which are located further outside. Muons are similar to heavy electrons and are detected in the muon spectrometer. A large dipole magnet bends their tracks, and several detector layers record their position. The data from all collisions are recorded to mass storage, amounting to many thousands of terabytes every year. 